What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. We're doing more portfolio reviews. I'm gonna make a new series. It's just gonna be called Job Ready. Are you job ready? This is what you send when you apply to jobs. So we're gonna make a series out of it. So you guys keep sending me your portfolios and I'll keep doing them. I have a whole bunch to do now since the first video just kind of took off and everyone liked it. But if you want me to do it right away, there's a Patreon perk for that and I'll do it basically right away. And it's your choice if you wanna be in the video or not. Not everyone likes to be in the video. Some of these portfolios are just really amazing. They just knock me off my pedestal of what I sent in to apply for a job. They're really, they're really good. So good work everyone that's doing these portfolios because I wish that I had your level of that expertise when I was sending it in. I was just inspecting some of these pages and I was like, wow, these are so good. The last portfolio that we're going to review is just crazy. Um, it's really creative. It's really unique. So you guys should stick around to see that one for sure. We have a Discord. Link for the Discord is in the description down below. If you need help with a resume or cover letter, I have some on my website and you can check those out. And if you want to see more of this series, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. Anyways guys, follow me on the social medias. Let's jump into these portfolios. So there are three main things that we're looking at in these portfolio sites, just as like a standard to go by. Is it responsive? Is it mobile friendly? Mobile design first these days, that's just how it is. So it needs to work on my phone as well as desktop and it needs to work well. We're gonna be looking at the UX. Is the overall design good? Is there any bugs, any scrolling issues, anything like that? Do you have examples of your projects? Can I find links to those projects? And finally, the stack that it was built with. Now this doesn't actually matter, I just wanna know what stack that you did build it with. People think a lot into this more than they should. You could build it with static HTML, you could build it with WordPress, you could build it with React, you could build it with any anything that you want. That doesn't matter so much. I just wanna know for my own information and for the people watching this, what stack did you build it with so we can see how you did it. Let's jump in to the first one. Okay, so first up we got Cy. Let's take a look at his website. So, this is kind of neat. It's scrolling around, kind of got that 3D effect. One thing I did notice earlier when I was poking around was that if you click this, it sticks. I don't really know why. If I click that, it sticks. And then in the middle, it doesn't, I don't know, it like toggles. I'm not exactly sure what, what what's going on. If you click this button, it scrolls you down to the rest of the page. This button, I really have no indication of what it's doing. It looks more like a mouse button. Then please click this button and scroll down. In my opinion, you could probably just remove this in its entirety. So you wanna save your entire story for your cover letter, not necessarily your portfolio. You wanna make your portfolio just as concise as your resume. You have a lot of information on here. So if I click view your resume, what's that look like? So it takes me to a nine PDF. Uh, I can download and I go back to homepage. Okay, so we have all your information up here. Work experience, technical skills, looking good. We got projects, looking fantastic. I got links here. Awesome, freelance web dev, work experience, education, masters in IT, volunteer certificates. Uh, we have a lot of information on, on the bottom of privacy policy for your portfolio. Uh, we can see all of your ranks. You got hacker rank, that's kind of neat. Hacker earth, these are kind of neat. Maybe I would have an accomplishments page. The, the main three that I would use if you were gonna use would be CodePen, GitHub, LinkedIn, but this is really awesome. Okay, there's a little bit of a weird UX experience. They, like I thought these were buttons for a second because my, my cursor is changing to the hand. You have a terms. Uh, this is a little bit, this is a little bit much. Uh, this is like, this is like turning into a whole website here, like besides just a portfolio website. Okay, so this is what I was talking about earlier. We can see the stack that you built it with, source code, Firebase, all this stuff. Do you have a readme? No readme, but you already indicated what you're making with Angular, Google, Firebase, Cloud. There's some weirdness with your images, I noticed. Um, these are actually like pictures taken. What I would do is get your phone, download small PDF, on your phone, take a picture of the thing and make it a PDF and then upload that. If you're going to keep this page, that is what I would do. Things are looking good here. We have reaction tester game, that's kind of neat if I view it. Um, you have comments. Who left these comments? Are these, are these authentic comments? Choose an avatar. Okay, this is, you got a lot going on here. It's good, you just have a lot going on, and I don't know if the people visiting this will have a whole lot of time. So I can like this. This is like a bunch of different applications in one, just for a portfolio. Okay, so I'm just supposed to click this stuff appearing on the page. All right, that's kind of neat. 
it's kind of a cool game. What I would like to see instead of having this two-step process of maybe uh, view code, not like a summary, view code, view app, and then if I click on this, it'll take me to this little thing in like a modal. That would be cool. That'd be a lot more efficient than having to go here, than having to come over and figure out where can I just view the thing. Okay, here. But how do I find the GitHub for it? Is there a GitHub link somewhere for this? Yeah, there's no, there's no real GitHub link. Uh, we have a we have a blog. You write a blog, which you have one thing in here. Your own platform to share your thoughts. You have a biography. Um, I just don't know who's gonna come in here and navigate to all this. These pictures here. These pictures are cool. I would remove these. They might have something in here that people don't like, and people are just judgmental. That's how it is, right? You don't want to give too much of your information away. You just want to get the job, man. This isn't like a dating profile, fam. It's good that you have a personality, but we found a bug. We found a bug. Photos. View. And then I go back. Yep, we got a bug. Videos. Section under progress. That's a neat little gift that you got going. I think page under construction by itself would do fine. Uh, we got resume, GitHub, code pen, LinkedIn. This is neat. Um, this is all you really need as far as the portfolio is concerned. If you had one more button that said projects, that took me to this page. Awesome. Also, your self rating. And what is acceptable to you might be really high for someone else like if, I'm not very good at this but for the job you're applying for it might be amazing and then vice versa you might be like I'm excellent at this but the job you're applying for doesn't this, you don't even you don't even come close and so when you're self rating yourself with visualizations it doesn't mean anything to the employer you have the soft skills section where every piece is broken up equally thereby basically making this entire section mean nothing Oh, I have a one skill in communication, and then this over here, leadership, 100, you're, like, they're all relatively high. Like, what is a 96 time management compared to an 89 time management? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. I mouse over it, so you have Visual Studio usage, 100%. Oh, what's going on? There's, okay, so that's a little bit difficult. I would remove this page. You have a you have 100% knowledge in all of these things that are flashing that I can't seem to get a handle on. And then you have ability to work under pressure only only in certain circumstances, such as jQuery. You can't... Oh, you can work under pressure in everything. But ability to teach others jQuery in Angular, you're not, you're not so... Like, this is... What does this mean, really? Just remove this page, dude. You have a terms of condition, privacy policy, and a disclaimer. What are we doing here? We just want to get the job, dude. Whether you'd like to discuss a project, ask about my website. This is way too long. I just put, feel free to reach out. Name. Okay, that's good. Type your message. You have to agree to a terms and privacy policy to send you an email? Why wouldn't I just find your email from your GitHub or your resume and then just paste it there? Why would I do it through your website then? I would probably remove this achievements page, keep that to itself, but if you had to, if you had to really prune this project I would just remove the achievements because it doesn't I don't know what any of this means yeah front end development Adobe so this this is more of what I'm talking about if you're gonna list skills visually this is the way to do it right here Get your tool tips those, those are kind of neat explore more oh no 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 site let's check to see if your site is responsive it's responsive but I'm scrolling scrolling for a while how does this render so, on your technical skills page, which you should remove, this doesn't render very well at all. I can barely see what's going on. Overall, responsive, you just have to clean up your overall site. And then there's no home button here. Like, I can only go between these four. How do I go home besides clicking this? A lot of content here. It's almost like in this specific case, it's like less is more. So think about, you know, it's, it's your site at the end of the day. But move on to the next one. All right, next up we got Andre. So it's just a simple, simple, oh, we got a little demo code. So we got two buttons right away, demo code, easy, easy enough. We have a restaurant reviews, let's hit up this. What happened? All right, so I don't know if you have that finished or not, but I would say that's definitely an issue. Uh, the contact page, name, email, message, we got links to all the stuff. I like this background, this design is pretty good. I can't read this. These are good. I would. This is simple enough. These look like buttons. So I'm not sure what's going on here. This looks like a. This looks like a hyperlink. Never put your Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter on a job application. They don't need to know anything that goes on in that type of aspect. So remove these two links here. 
Instagram, I don't know what you had for dinner last night. I don't care what you had for dinner last night. I don't want to see your gym pictures. I don't want to see your dog pic. I just want to know if you can do the job. Andre, let's check to see if your site is responsive. Looks responsive. That's good. That's good. Down. Got our links here. So for a brief moment in time between these pixels and these pixels, I can't access this hamburger menu right here. That's a little bit weird. Uh, oh, you have a little icon. That's cool. So home page, contact page, is that responsive? Contact page is responsive, looks good. So make those changes, you'll be good to go. All right, last but definitely not least, we have Eric Pack and his website just kind of like, I don't know. I don't I don't know what he did here, but this is a really cool idea. Um, you guys just, just, just look at this website. So we got this thing, which you can expand around. This is like old school, look, Windows 95 Eric Pack edition. That is the title of the tab that I'm on. And so you can scroll through these, see things. He's got his description here. I can resize this window. And if I click on this blue thing, I can drag it around. I don't even know really how to criticize this. Is it mobile friendly? Okay, so I don't think this site was ever meant to be mobile friendly. <laughs> so let's undo this, minimize this. If I close this, can I, can I open it back up again? We got GitHub. Um, okay, so Eric, one thing that I would change just simply from a UX perspective would to be to have your LinkedIn and GitHub open new tabs. We have a recycle bin, old site. So I can see your old site here. That's kind of neat that you have that available. Click to paint. Oh, that's cool. So when I was looking at these, I barely saw these little buttons down here to notice I could change images, which is what you have here, these little carousels for, which I assume they're like little bootstrap arrows to navigate. Um, there's no link for your GitHub for any of these. It would be cool if I could see a button that says see this app and a button that says look at the code or something like that. Resume is definitely on point. I, I would move your education at the bottom and move your projects up, experience up. Oh, oh, look at this. Look at this. If I click the start button and I click the about, that thing comes back. And if I click start and go to contact, I can get your email, LinkedIn, or GitHub. So this was built on React. That's pretty That's pretty cool. And then if I come over here and I click Programs, you have MS Paint. You gotta include the MS Paint here. The color that I want, some more custom paint. I can undo. I can't see the brush, but that's pretty cool. If I open it again, is it saved? It's actually saved, so I can undo, redo. No. The few things that I would change, though, is the, the mobile friendly. Maybe just redesign this thing, like to have your old website mobile friendly. And then your two links over there on the bottom right corner of LinkedIn and GitHub need to open new tabs rather than redirect. Resume looks good. Adjust your experience and projects up. Move your education down because you have a, a bunch of cool projects here. And then inside of your projects, I would uh, add two buttons so that I could see the website and the code if, if you're allowed to do that for those websites. But super unique, super cool. Thanks for sending it in. And I appreciate all you guys for sending it in. So keep sending them. I'm going to keep doing these. I think they're really fun to review. They, you know, you guys get a lot out of them. And if you want to see more, you know, hit that sub, hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in supporting the channel, I have a Patreon, and uh, you know, resumes and cover letters are on my website if you want to check those out. So, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.